top story. Today is the National Day of Remembrance for Murder Victims. And in less than an hour, a candlelight vigil will be held for Central Louisiana families who have lost a loved one to violence. Colin B. Joseph is live now at the Rapids Parish Courthouse with more on the vigil and the families who help put it together. Colin. That's right, guys. In less than an hour, families across from central Louisiana will come to here to remember those who have lost a loved one as part of National Day of Remembrance for murder victims. Joining me now is the organizer of this event, Stephanie Ballard, who lost her daughter, Courtney Coco, in 2004. Now, Stephanie, you remember Courtney from this event and kind of putting this on to remember those who have also lost a loved one like you have. How does this memory, how does this vigil bring that memory back for you and as well as many other ones all around here? Well, I, it's very important for me to have this day for a National Day of Remembrance for all victims of violent crime. Um, 2004 was the year she was murdered, and for 18 years we had no justice. So this is actually my first year at the National Day of Remembrance for Courtney to have justice. But it's very important because the many families feel like sometimes that their loved one is forgot about and this is a way to keep their loved one's memory alive now for those that are coming for the first time what can these families expect for this vigil tonight well we have a few guest speakers and um, we try to give words of hope and inspiration and we display their pictures and we at the end of the program we read each and every name and unfortunately my my list keeps growing absolutely so um for tonight if you're if you're coming out here tonight it starts at seven o'clock uh you can bring a candle if not they will have one provided with you uh members are asked to bring a picture of that loved one as well as the shoes that they wore for a special tribute later tonight reporting live at the courthouse colin vidros for news channel 5 brooke and dylan back to you at the studio